We had seen many examples of the main six being responsible and dependable before this point. Both Twilight and Spike end up taking care of each other in their own little ways. Fluttershy has a natural ability for nurturing and caring for animals, as well as showing that she is capable of handling children. Applejack has devoted her life to the farm and her family, and shows a very close bond with her younger sister. Even Rarity has had moments of putting aside her own needs for the sake of her sister. But in the case of both Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash, we have yet to see them being responsible for the needs of others. They certainly have shown loyalty and devotion to others, but not in the nurturing sense. And in Rainbow Dash's case, we've only seen a brief moment of her being willing to show Scootaloo some sympathy. She has yet to be truly tested in that sense, since she hasn't really needed to sacrifice anything for Scootaloo's sake just yet, but I am hopeful to see more of that in the future. Though if there is one member of the main six who has a problem putting aside her need for fun when it comes to caring for others, that would definitely be Pinky. So putting her in a situation where she's being responsible for young children actually does seem like it would be a good challenge for her character. But how well does the actual story hold up? Let's take a look. As the episode begins, we see the main six at the hospital waiting for the cakes to present their new foals. While most of the main six are there to enjoy how cute they are, Pinky is already talking about having two new foals to play with. Right off the bat, Pinky seems to be thinking about how much fun she's going to have over anything else. Applejack starts wondering about how a unicorn and a pegasus could be the offspring of two earth ponies, to which Carrot Cake explains that he actually does have both a unicorn and a pegasus in his family tree. Now, this explanation would be just fine, were it not for the fact that even Carrot Cake himself seems to have trouble believing it. I get the sense that perhaps the animators were trying to poke fun at this situation, but the underlying suggestion here seems to be in bad taste, especially for a show that is intended for younger audiences. Both Twilight and Rarity warn about how a baby unicorn will have magic surges that come and go. This is another interesting little tidbit to MLP lore, and makes me rather curious about whether Rarity is speaking from experience, since she would remember being with Sweetie Belle when she was a newborn foal. In the next scene, we get another short song from Pinky as she is thoroughly enjoying her time with the Cake Twins. That is, until it's actually time to take care of the foals. I'm actually a little surprised to see Pinky getting irritated just because she is waiting for playtime again. Pinky is actually showing herself to be rather self-centered here. And this is made all the more apparent when the twins are clearly uncomfortable and Pinky is still only focused on having fun. Now, when the Cakes discover that they need a babysitter, Pinky is quick to volunteer. But first, the Cakes go to every other member of the main six before even considering Pinky. They do like having Pinky around to play with their children, but it is rather understandable that they would hesitate with leaving Pinky alone with them. After all, Pinky really does have a problem when it comes to being responsible. She still has issues with making her fun more important than anything else. Now, we see later on in the series that Pinky is making efforts to balance that out a little better. But it is good to see that the writers were able to take this issue and show just how much it can become a problem. And once Pinky is the only one around, the twins immediately start showing that this will not be as easy as she thinks it will be. We get another short song from Pinky as well as some great reactions from the twins. But a lot of these next scenes just go to show how difficult it is for Pinky to be responsible. She's keeping herself positive and upbeat, but the more she's going on with things, the more she begins to understand that she greatly underestimated how hard this will be for her. When Twilight arrives, Pinky is relieved to finally get some assistance. That is, until Twilight says that she figured Pinky could use some help. Now, we may think that Twilight didn't intend to imply anything negative here, but I have to admit even I would question whether Pinky really could do something like this. It is perfectly understandable that the Cakes and now even Twilight have had their doubts about Pinky's ability to be responsible. And this just makes Pinky all the more determined to prove everyone else wrong. Now, a lot of this episode feels rather similar to other stories that we've seen before. It is rather commonplace to put a character in charge of a baby and seeing them getting overwhelmed by the experience. But there are a couple of things here that make it seem different. 
First off, the cake twins are actually a little more interesting than most other babies we see in media. While it may not be much, each of them are given just a bit of a distinct personality that helps them to stand out. And the fact that they put in a parody of horror stories right in the middle of this episode actually shows some great creativity. I've also heard more than a few people talk about how it doesn't make any sense that pound cake can fly so easily and pumpkin cake is using a variety of magic all of a sudden. But we did hear Twilight and Rarity talking about this early on in the episode, so the writers didn't try to pull this out of thin air. And I would think that their explanation could apply to Pegasi as well, if their ability to fly is due to an inherent, even unstable magic that comes and goes at around this age. I've explained this in greater detail in the Headcanons video that was made with Buck and Past Analysis, and I'll post a link in the description if you'd like to check that out. But while there are plenty of funny bits to this episode, and quite a few adorable moments as well, I can understand why some people would say that the story isn't all that interesting. While the writers have put in a few enjoyable twists to this story that we've all seen before, that doesn't change the fact that it is a story that we've all seen before. So yeah, it makes sense that some people wouldn't think too highly of this episode. But I, for one, really like many of the aspects that were presented here. Aside from a good parody of horror films and the overall adorableness that comes with taking care of children, I think that Pinky was just the right kind of character for this story. It's nice to see that they established Pinky's desires for having fun taking precedence over the needs of others in previous episodes. This was made especially apparent in Luna Eclipsed, when Pinky was encouraging everyone else to be scared and not even realizing that she was really hurting Luna's feelings in the process. So when we get to an episode like Baby Cakes and Pinky starts to realize that the Cakes and even Twilight actually had a good reason to doubt in her ability to be responsible, it actually does feel like Pinky is growing a little bit as a character. And even besides that, I think there is more of a lesson here than meets the eye. Pinky talks about how it can be easy to be overconfident when it comes to responsibility, but there is actually more to learn from Pinky's actions here. At first, Pinky wanted to be a babysitter because she thought that would mean more playtime with the twins. And when she started to get overwhelmed, she was glad to see Twilight come by and offer her help. And then she ends up refusing that help just because she wants to prove to everyone that she can be responsible. But in the end, what made the job work for Pinky was when she finally put aside her own desires for fun or for proving others wrong. When she started doing the work not for her own sake but for the sake of the twins, then she found a way to handle it. This is made all the more apparent at the end of the episode when the Cakes ask Pinky to be their go-to babysitter. At first, Pinky is thinking about all the work that is involved with going through this ordeal again. But then we have that predictable yet touching moment when the twins actually show their appreciation for Pinky. And Pinky is able to put aside all the work involved and decides that she wants to do this for their sake. And that's a really good lesson that you don't often see in other stories like this. When you are being responsible for children, you can put yourself through all the motions and easily get overwhelmed just like Pinky here. But it will always make the job far more worthwhile when you can put aside your own desires and do the work for the sake of those you are caring for. And I really like seeing lessons like that, regardless of where they come from. But now I would like to hear from each of you. What are your thoughts on this story that has become rather commonplace in many other shows throughout the decades? Do you think that MLP had managed to put enough of a creative spin on it to make the episode worthwhile? Or do you think they didn't do quite enough with what they had? Do you think this story makes for a good representation of Pinky's character? Do you have any thoughts about how the Cake Twins were able to do all these amazing things at such a young age? I would like to hear your thoughts on Baby Cakes, and let us hope to see Pinky continuing to mature as the show goes on. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.